Never in my whole life have I been more excited to receive my monthly energy bill. If you live in Canada and you own your home, there's never been a better time to install solar than right now. Solar is not only good for the environment, but also for your wallet. Hey everyone, my name's Murray and I've been living with solar panels for just over six months here in Lethbridge, Alberta. And everyone keeps asking me how it's going so far and does solar even make sense in Canada? So I decided to make a video covering all the questions I've gotten and also some things that you need to know if you're considering getting solar. So without further ado, let's start off with some common misconceptions that people have about solar because it's changed so much in the last 10 years. When I was first looking at solar, I was under the impression that you need a big expensive home battery in order to make it work. But that's not the case. Most solar installs, mine included, are grid connected solar installations. In Canada, we have what's called net metering. What this means is you essentially use the grid as a battery. If you're producing more energy than what you're using, that excess energy will be exported to the grid and you'll get paid for it. When you need more energy than you're producing, you get it back from the grid at a one-to-one -one rate. So basically during the day when the sun is shining, you might build up a credit and then at night you will use that credit. The next misconception is solar does not work in Canada because it's cold and snowy for half of the year. There was actually a study done by Nate in Edmonton where they had two sets of solar panels side by side and during the winter they would go out every day and make sure that the one set was completely clear of snow and the other one they left alone. Until this study, the industry estimated that solar panels lose about 20% of their energy because of snow buildup during the winter, but the study found the energy loss to be much less only about 3%. If you wanna see the study yourself, I'll link it below. Another misconception about solar panels is they're not good for the environment because they need to be manufactured out of oil and rare earth metals. While this is true, there was a study on this as well, and they found that solar panels offset their own manufacturing emissions in around one to three years. The last misconception is solar is not worth it because there's fixed fees on your electricity bill, like transmission and distribution costs. These fees are actually entirely variable and they're based on your usage. Solar will help you lower or eliminate them completely. If you're producing more energy than you're using, your bills will be completely covered and your utility company might owe you money. Now that we have those misconceptions out of the way, let's talk about why I got solar and why now. The main reason that brought solar to my attention was mostly financial. I wanted to be protected against the rising energy costs increase the value of my house, and reduce my monthly bills. Learning about the Greener Homes Grant offered by the Canadian government made my decision even easier. If you haven't heard about the Greener Homes Grant, I would highly suggest looking into it because it's basically free money up to $5,000 from the government for energy efficient upgrades to your home. One of the upgrades offered by this grant is solar panels. I also learned that residential solar installs have gotten 64% cheaper since 2010, so there's never been a better time than now to install them. Now I'm going to go over a few things that you need to know before deciding if solar is right for you. Solar panels do degrade over time and become less efficient. This should be explained to you by your installer so you know what to expect in the coming years. After 25 years, the panels are generally rated to have 80% of their original efficiency. So after 25 years, you have the choice of keeping them or replacing them. This brings me on to my next point. Currently, there's no sustainable way to recycle solar panels efficiently because solar panels have such a long lifespan, there's not a lot of decommissioned panels that need to be recycled. There are advancements in this field, and I'm confident that in the near future, someone will be able to do it efficiently at scale. Solar panels are very durable. They will withstand up to golf ball sized hail at 100 kilometers per hour. Just make sure to add them to your insurance just in case there's baseball sized hail or something ridiculous like that. And they'll be covered under your policy anyways. Another thing that I was not aware of is that with grid connected solar installs, if your power is cut off in your neighborhood, your solar will automatically shut off and your power will go out as well. This is a safety measure as you cannot have electricity flowing back into the grid because it could harm the electricians that are working on getting the power restored. In Alberta, we have what's called the Solar Club. The Solar Club is a non-government program that improves cost savings for owners of solar in Alberta. Solar Club members can switch between a high electricity rate in the summer and a low electricity rate in the winter. There's no cost for switching the rate. You just have to remember to do it twice a year. 
This will help reduce your payback period because in the summer you can get paid even more for the excess energy that you produce. Another way of reducing your payback period is by selling your carbon credits. The government requires big companies to offset their carbon emissions by buying clean energy credits. By being a producer of renewable electricity, you can sell your credits to these companies. Rewatt is the only company that I know of that offers this service, and it's currently only for Albertans. All you have to do is sign up and you'll receive a check once per year. According to their website, a 10 kilowatt solar array could make you up to $2,500 over eight years. The payback period is quite long, somewhere around 10 years, but your mileage may vary. I live in Lethbridge, Alberta, the second sunniest city in all of Canada, so mine is predicted to be closer to seven years. There is quite a substantial upfront cost. The average install will be somewhere around $15,000 to $25,000, depending on the size. This is before the $5,000 grant. Just for context, my 7.3 kilowatt system cost me $18,500. The maximum size of your solar array is actually determined by your annual energy usage and your solar installer will determine what that size is. Once your solar's up and running, you can see in real time how much you're currently producing through the manufacturer's app. It can also track daily, monthly, and yearly production. Now, some of you may be thinking, that's great and all, if only I had 20 grand to spend on a solar array. Well, there's also the Greener Homes loan that can help you pay for these upgrades over 10 years interest-free. The loan is up to $40,000, which would easily cover the entire cost of an average solar install. Did I mention interest-free in this economy? An average solar array should pay for itself within 7 to 12 years, and if electricity prices keep rising, it could be even sooner. In theory, you could take out the loan, use it to pay for the solar array, use the money generated by the solar to pay off the loan. After 10 years, the loan will be paid off and the solar panels will continue producing electricity for at least an additional 15 years. So where do you start if you want to get solar panels? The first thing you need to do is get your application started with the Greener Homes program. The process was pretty slow for me, so the sooner you get started with that, the quicker you can get the ball rolling. After that, the best thing to do is to reach out to a few different companies and get quotes. There's actually a company called Goglean that will do the work for you and it'll help homeowners get three quotes from installers in your area and help you through the process. It's free to use this service and it can save you time and money. I have no affiliation with any of the companies mentioned in this video. I'm simply someone that installed solar on my own home and I thought I would share my experience with you as solar is getting more and more popular. I'll be posting my first year with solar update video later this year, so get subscribed so you don't miss it. If you don't have a house to put solar panels on, I'd be happy to help as I'm a realtor with the Real Estate One team here in Lethbridge. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.